Good morning, SI. My name is Addie and I am a sophomore. Today, we will pray in honor of our former history teacher, lacrosse coach, and SI class of 1996 graduate, Mr. Dave Bowe. The news we received Friday of his passing brought forth many emotions throughout the SI community. I remember coming home to a call from one of my classmates who was in tears. Although I didn't have Mr. Bowe for long, I could immediately feel her pain, as well as everyone's at SI who had come to know and love him. So let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we remember Mr. Bowe. We loved him as a teacher, a coach, a classmate, a colleague, and a forever friend and member of the SI community. We open our ears to the words in the Gospel of Matthew. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Lord, help us to remember that amidst this pain and suffering, we seek your comfort and learn from the legacy Mr. Bo has left us. As we continue school from home and in person, let us take the time we need to remember Mr. Bo for the courageous and generous man that he was. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Ignatius, pray, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would now like to introduce Principal Levine to say a few words. Thank you so much, Addie. Addie was the first person to reach out on Friday night and asked if she could write a prayer for today to share with the community. And Mr. Bo would really have loved and appreciated that, Addie. Thank you so much. I just wanna say a few words to everyone about Mr. Bo. Okay, as, uh, as Addie mentioned, he graduated from SI in 96 and he worked at SI as a teacher and a coach for 15 years. He absolutely loved his students, his athletes and his colleagues. He was very understanding when any of you asked for more time to study or if you needed more support in or out of the classroom. He fully understood that sometimes we all need a break. And he needed a break sometimes too, which he gratefully sought out in these last few months. He was in close contact with many of us um, in the last several months, including me, Ms. Steven Chenzi, Mr. Yap, and Mr. Cody, his lifelong friend, and many more teachers, counselors, and coaches. As I told you, Mr. Bo struggled with addiction and many of you also know that he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis several years ago. He never missed work, even when he needed to or he should have, because he absolutely loved being around his students. You brought him tremendous relief and joy. Although he was upfront about his struggles, he wanted to be better and he wanted to live. I'm confident when I tell you that his death was accidental and I would only tell you the truth about that. He was enjoying his path to recovery and spoke of future plans and aspirations. Mr. Bo's battle with addiction and MS were things that he discussed, but they were not the things that defined him. He was so much more to us and to his family and friends than those things. He was a teacher who truly cared deeply, a coach that supported his players on good and bad days, and a friend that challenged us to think and made us laugh out loud. These are the things about David Bowe that we loved and the ways in which he will be remembered. Please be good to your teachers today. We lost a great friend and a colleague and we could benefit from some extra kindness. And please be good to yourselves and to each other. Go to the counseling office at any time and know that the chapel will be open for you all day where you can go to pray, to reflect or to be together. Do not hesitate to ask for what you need. We'll make adjustments for you. That's what community does. We show up for each other and we make adjustments as needs shift. So you may find yourself feeling angry or sad or unsettled, even if you didn't know Mr. Bo, because any death can stir up emotions from other losses that you've experienced in the past. Or you may have known him 
yet you don't feel much of anything. So grief is tricky and all of that is normal. So do what you need to do for you today, okay? Much love and thanks again to Addie. Thanks to all of you for your continued prayers and community love. Back to you, Addie. Thank you, Ms. Levine. A Rodre Chapel is open today to anyone who wants to pray for Mr. Bow or would like to speak with a campus minister. We want to wish the following people a happy birthday. Freshman Francesca B, Eric G, and Aaron M. Junior Kathleen M, Senior Eric V, and Mr. Grealish. May you all have a blessed birthday today. Now to close, let's all take a moment of silence for Mr. Bow. Go gently today, SI.